Hello guys and welcome in this new video. Today we are going to talk about how to connect Python scripts together and make them communicate data. So, we are working with a library that is called the socket library, which you can import like this. It is already built into Python so you don't need to install anything and I'm going to explain it real quick. Now, uh, this library allows us to create a server which is a script that is expecting connections to arrive at it and to deal with clients. A client is a single instance of code that wants to connect to the server. Uh, that would be for example your local Fortnite client that wants to connect with Epic Games servers that are not on in your house, they are not in your network. Multiple clients can connect to a server but it doesn't make like that much sense for multiple servers to connect to a client because it doesn't work like the client connects to the server so let's see how to do that to do it we are going to need two scripts the server and the client and we're going to start looking at the server first so we will import socket and we will define the IP address which in my case is localhost this is a reserved keyword, which not in Python, but uh, in networking, that indicates the uh, local machine. So it means that I am running this locally as a test environment. Now, for port, you can choose anything that is greater than 1024. Ports go up to 6535, I think, or something like that. So I'll choose something random like 33333. And then I would say s equals socket dot socket, or we could call this like server. And then I would say server dot bind, and here I will insert the IP and the port in this double parenthesis to make it a tuple. Then I would say server dot listen. This line of code. The first line of code here will create a socket object, so it is our server object. Here we bind it to the IP and port so it knows where to listen from. And with this line, server.listen, we start, we get ready basically to handle external connections coming in. Now, uh, to handle the connections, I will create a new function called handle client which doesn't return anything, it has no arguments sorry, it has two arguments actually the connection and the address the connection is an object that we can use to uh, communicate with the client that has connected and the address is just the IP address and port of the client this function we would say print sorry, uh, we would say while true create a while loop and we'll say uh, message equals con dot receive and we'll say 2048 now this number represents the length of a message that we want to receive because as you might have guessed the receive function is used to receive a message from a client in here you can input any size you want just be aware that if you send a really long message and it is greater than this size you will run into trouble and then I would say uh, print uh, new message from the address sorry for this double parenthesis this needs to be a new string and then I would say the actual message that we received so here in a while loop we will receive a message and print what that was. Now be aware that if a message is not received this loop will not execute. So now we will say um, we will initiate a while loop a while a true while loop and then we will say um, a connection and an address equals to server dot accept. So the listen will start to look out for incoming connections and the accept function will accept any connections that are coming in so here we have the connection and address parameters of the client 
that just connected to us and then we will start a new thread uh, sorry I have to import threading to do that if you do not know what threading is please check out uh, the lessons that are available on my channel so we will create a new thread and the target of that will be handle client and I will specify this as a lambda statement just so I can pass on the arguments such as the connection and the address also I will start this thread and what this basically will do is it will uh, create a new thread with this function sorry with this function for every new client that connects because of course you want each and every client to be handled separately and not together now we can save this and we can work on our client I will copy the IP and port here because these need to be equal and then we'd say the client is again a socket object so socket.socket .socket. we will also bind this client to the IP and port but this time we will say client.connect and that's it sorry um, sorry uh, I work with this a little bit too much so I actually got, got this wrong here we will see that just in a minute I'm sorry Notice that here I do not write con and addr equals client.connect because you do not need to specify what uh, to do, like what is the address of it, you already know because you connect only to one server. Here we initiate a while loop and I will say uh, client.send and I will send basically a, a random input from the user so with that and this also needs to be encoded in a bytes format such as UTF-8 now we will see if this works to test that I will just start up the server uh, sorry let's add here a little line of code to know when the server is actually ready so let's say server started on and here we we'll specify just the uh, IP and port so that we also know that as a little debug line you can see server started on localhost 3333 and now I will execute my client script that I have on my second monitor I will drag it over so you can see here that we have the script and if I just write test here you can see that we have the server has received our message you can see new message from this is a local IP so it's nothing that they can share and you can see that we have our test message for example if now I take this again and sorry if it is a small size but I cannot do it wait maybe I can no sorry I cannot if I write for example test 2 you can see that it says test 2 now this can be performed the other way around so I can also say um, when the message is received I can also send a message that says uh, copy dot encode and I will still say UTF-8 now be aware that if you do this lot uh, the UTF-8 is kind of annoying to write so you can declare it as a constant for example format UTF-8 and in the encoding you can just write format sorry in capital letters so that you can change it here and it applies to all of the code so now let's try that so copy and here we will say print Client dot receive. Now notice that here this name can lead to a bit of a problem because it looks like you're sending to a client and receiving from it. So you could write server here, but this is up to you. Like once you understand this basic architecture, you can do everything. So I will restart the server 
to make the changes in the code apply and then I will also restart the client here on my second screen and drag it over so you can see now if I write test here you can see that in an error occurred so the connection was forcedly terminated by the remote host because there was an error in this con.receive in the server so let's see why that would be let me execute this code again but with a another method so that I can see what the actual problem is so I am just creating a batch file on my second screen just so I can start that up and see what the problem is okay let's run this and here it say test and it says of course I got this wrong receive takes an argument such as 2048 which is the size again of what we are trying to receive so let me run this again and as you can see if I now write test the server receives it and we also receive our copy message so thank you for watching this video sorry for this little inconvenience i hope you found this lesson useful and i'll see you next time bye